Hi guys, all right, quick update for Bitcoin. So um, let's have a look at a few things. Just to let you guys know if you guys are interested, we've, um, al we're allowing some more spots here because the demand is so high. Um, I don't want too many on this preliminary sort of sending out of the newsletter. Um, if you've already signed up, make sure you do give us feedback. You've got my email address. Um, there's literally no point in doing this unless we get feedback on uh, the language, uh, on the um, on the layout, on the kind of markets that we've covered. Uh, please do give us feedback. So we'll allow another five or six people to jump on. Um, so just go to the website. We're planning on sending it out on uh, Saturday by 6 p.m. And as I said, if you've already signed up or you're going to sign up, please do give us feedback. You've got my email address. Um, these sort of things don't really work without feedback. Um, and obviously, if the feedback's good, we'll continue to do it. If not, then uh, we'll just call it a day. So that, that's why I've purposely done it at the price that I have done and to make it a weekly thing. So it's, it's it would be very easy to just cancel it. Uh, but hopefully people will find it useful. I might change the name to Middle Class Hero Weekly Newsletter because um, really that's the market that we're trying to aim at. These average average Joeys on the street who um, have got 10, 20k of disposable income and they listen to the Financial Times and CNBC and then um, end up losing all their money. I was going to use a different trader Dante phrase there, but I chose not to. But I'm sure you guys who listen to the man the myth, the legend, Dante, uh, you know what phrase I was going to use there. So um, this is everything that we're going to cover. Um, that's my email address to give me feedback. I, th I think some of you are a little bit lost with what's an EU country and what's not. So Norway, last time I checked, wasn't an EU country. So so some of you guys are um, a little bit confused there. So we just need to get our thinking caps on. Norway is not an EU country, hence your rest of the world. We all know the EU won't be here in about 12 months time. Um, that's why the UK is um, getting off before crap hits the fan. But for right now, we're all one big happy family. So Norway is not a EU country. So let's get some thinking caps on, yeah? Um, really good. Twitter just went above 4,808 followers. So um, I better just tweet that out actually. Uh, let me just tweet that out. What was that? 4,808 followers. Thank you. The big 4808. So thanks. Thanks for that. I'll give another update once I get above 4,810. Um, so we've got a few, um, got a few uh, snippets here. So this was one article which I was writing on the Tepocalypse. Um, I'm covering quite a few different things and then Waves is going to give his... His um his uh his take on educational uh pitchfork. So yeah, should be good. We're gonna be covering quite a few things. I think this first one's gonna run to about five or six pages. Um and as I said, please do give us feedback. If it's something that you guys want to continue to have, then let us know. And if not, we'll just um call it a day. But honestly, between now and Christmas, it's gonna get very, very busy now. This um markets are about to um really turn on a dime, so there's going to be a lot of trading opportunities, so might not get time to do regular YouTube videos, um, hence why we need to um, articulate ourselves in a different format. And besides, if it's a PDF, it's always a good reference point um, at the start of the week and at the end of the week. So, um, yeah, so uh, that's it, really. So if you want to join, just go on to the description below. Um, click on the link. As I said, we'll accept five or six more. Uh, please figure out what countries you're in. Um, you know, uh, there's a couple of you guys in the Norway, uh, in Ukraine. Um, you're a little bit lost, I think. Uh, but otherwise, let's go into Bitcoin. So there's no signs of any altcoin rally right now. We're waiting for this dominance to sort of tail off. Um, likely, we're going to get a significant altcoin rally pretty soon. September the 22nd will be the next low Fibonacci time-wise. Um, I saw here April we got a pump, September, October um, we got a pump um, sort of last year as well. So it's clear that twice a year the altcoins do have a quite a good pump. But for right now, Bitcoin is still um, taking all of the credit. So this, this, dom this market cap will go down to 91 and this market cap will go down towards this high of 156. Um, 
I mean, that is quite amazing. So from 741, um, 207. So, um, yeah, um, that's what you get for listening to all those people I told you guys not to listen to all those months ago now. Uh, it seems like yesterday when I did that video warning all of you guys, and now what? You're all down 90%, so maybe a lot of you middle class heroes should buy the newsletter. I'm really thinking of changing this name to middle class heroes. Um, it's not really going to work without that. Let me just check my Twitter. Um, <clears throat> yeah, five... Yes, I'm liking that. Am I 410? No, I'm not 410. If I get to 4810, I'll have to just tweet that. Um, again, I like to give regular updates on my Twitter account. Okay, so Bitcoin, not much else to be said. Um, after a volatile week, you do expect some sideways consolidation, as I said, basically 10 days ago. Um, this is now an inside candle. Very, very poor bullish effort. No one's believing this altcoin rally. Um, old saying on Wall Street, which I always share, um, which is, um, first we tire them out, then we shake them out. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have already been shaken out and you're getting tired out, but there's still one more big shake out to go. So a um, lot of BitMEX uh, manipulation um, from what I've seen in the last 48 hours. So make of that what you will. Um, very manipulated market as this market cap goes lower and lower it's going to be easier and easier to manipulate uh by the very few people so um bit of a shame really because the average guy doesn't really um they're always on the wrong side of the move so uh short term yeah i mean there's just not much to be said it looks as though it's just forming a bear flag now this is looking like a very very bearish setup when things just get very very quiet before a major support level they could easily just start rolling over here so um still it's not a good time to be investing in this i, I do expect a markdown and then um all crap's gonna break loose um so august sorry next monday is a summer bank holiday in the uk and then labor day is on, on the third so uh today and tomorrow might not be so volatile and then we'll have to wait and see you next week but um that volatility will uh, start to make its move up. Let's just have a quick look at, um, well, there's not much to see in the altcoins, to be honest, at all. Not really doing much, so um, expect much lower targets. And if you go to my uh, Twitter, I've done all my long-term targets, really. I've, I've um, They're all here somewhere, so um, just have a look. I'm sure they're here somewhere, if you guys can go far back enough. I've done all my major targets for um, all the coins. Yeah, here. Yeah. So this is the major targets, which I said. So <clears throat> 2496. Sorry, that was the first. That was the first target. But then I did a second tweet with the second target. So let me just find that tweet. There's Anton Creole, the boss. Um, okay, I can't find it. Can't find it. That's annoying. Okay, I can't seem to find my other targets, but they're definitely there somewhere. If you just have a look down, um, all my targets are there. But um, we are expecting lower prices here. So Litecoin, um, yeah, I mean, we're expecting here, aren't we? 30 and then and then potentially it's going to find some support here. So that that would be a very good time to buy because it's never really tested this level since, well, a year ago. So it's doing a massive, massive test of that level. So... Um, that should definitely hold on Litecoin, so that might be a good buying opportunity. But once again, you are buying against the trend. The trend is still down. Um, I like Trade Devil's uh, video on um, XVG. I thought that was a good laugh. He's he's um, he's got support at uh, zero, so um, that was a good laugh. Um, really enjoyed that one. <clears throat> so that, that that really made me laugh. Um, don't know what's up with the Bitrex chart here. Where's um, where's Ripple gone? Don't know what's going on here. Where's Ripple? Is it here? Yeah, don't know what's happened to my Ripple Bit uh, Bitrex. It's almost as if it's gone off Bitrex. Have, have I missed something there? Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed that video. Um, he said, I mean, I've got it going down to 0.165. Um, 
but there was something along the lines of um, there's very strong support at zero. So let me just um, let me just mark off zero. Actually, yeah, I'll just mark off zero. Um, so yeah, a zero is about there. So if XRP doesn't hold here, um, it's going to go to uh, zero. So that's a great buying opportunity, isn't it? Um, if you're crazy. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, not much else to be said on the altcoin. So um, not much else to be said. I'm not going to be jumping in right now. I think there's still lower, more cheaper prices to go. Then we'll get some sort of rally. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's that's Bitcoin. Let's have a look at the major markets, the more um, adult markets. Nasdaq uh, still doing its thing. The Qs, SQs, the VIX is low. DJT. Right, so let's have a look at DJT. It's following a bit of a weekly doji here, which is uh, shooting star action, which is um, which is obviously very bearish. Um, we've got an engulfing. Today is Thursday, I believe, isn't it? So um, it's not crossed below the AEMA. So you want to be watching this. DJT will always give you a signal as to what's going to happen um, to the Dow. If you look here, DJT peaked on 16th of January. And the Dow, this is when I was telling the group, you must be crazy to be um, in DJT at this time. And the Dow and D DJI on the 26th, so it was 10 days lagging. Um, that's from the Dow theory. So these are the kind of things we'll be d discussing more on the newsletter, really, because um, it's a lot easier to articulate with diagrams and words, I think. But um, yeah, that's, that's very interesting how DJT is calling it a day. So... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I suppose there's divergence there as well. But that weekly hammer is very, very bearish. That's not a good setup, that. Um, so next week could potentially be fireworks. Next Tuesday. That is not good. If that candle finishes red tomorrow, that's very, very bearish. VIX is still making a higher low. So that's fine. VIX is not going to go towards 10. You're not going to see 10 for a very long time, though, VIX. VIX is just making a higher low, which is fine. So it's just going to grind here. And um, you want to be watching the VIX for a move up. Uh, SQs, inverted Qs are still not making, um, still not making that lower low. So there's clearly money still in there. Uh, Nasdaq also forming a daily hammer here. So um, I mean the Nasdaq chart looks so horrible. There's just nothing bullish about this whatsoever. Look at the the entire state of this candle is just complete mess any minute the Nasdaq could just roll over it looks absolutely horrible it's just not a good chart it's it, it's the worst out of all of them um, Apple Apple consolidating might still move higher but um, its time is limited I'll be covering Apple on um, the newsletter I'll be giving my sort of targets for Apple um, so yeah Potentially here, but it could roll over at any time here. Um, and once Apple goes, um, that's it. That's the world economy gone. Quite amazing, really, how our lives have been, how our, our lives are controlled by central bank manipulation and iPhones. Uh, it's fascinating, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, uh, indices, forex pairs, forget forex. Oil, oil might go higher. Gold will cover that on the weekend. Um, in the thing. Uh, Where's um, where's the S and P? Here we go. Here's the beast, the S and P. Okay, so um, daily chart. Yeah, looking a bit, looking a bit dodgy there, isn't it? So um, wants to go to new highs, but it looks as though it's tailing off. So it's definitely an ending diagonal pattern. This is definitely ending diagonal like there's just no volume up here it's, it's just going to roll over at any time here there's just no conviction in this move um, volumes tailing off a b c d that would be the a that would be the running flat b and now it's just working its e wave so very limited time left and shorts are going to start um, tailing that so um, s dow inverted etfs so they faked the low, shook everyone out, and now it looks as though they're going higher. So that's that's something to watch. That may form a weekly hammer as well, which, um, yeah, it is forming a weekly hammer. So 
it's funny how they start to accumulate right before major bank holidays. It's quite funny how that happens when no one's watching. Um, but I've been been around long enough to watch what they do. Um, and also the three times bear ETF. Um, potentially money. Yeah, I mean, you've got to be careful with these. You don't want to get into them too early. But I just look at them from purely a monetary perspective, try to figure out where the money's coming in. Bit of divergence there, so it looks as though that wants to own a bit of a hammer. So, um, yeah, September's gonna be interesting. Um, you can make a year's worth of income in your trading career just in September, frankly. So, yeah, and the bond market is at 15 uh, pips between the 30 and the 10, so um, that inversion will happen probably before the end of the year i reckon um almost certainly so um yeah should be interesting in the run-up now to christmas with the elections and the uh the politics the state of the s p the dollar index emerging markets things are about to get very very volatile and then the whole of next year is going to be going to be really really rocky i think um as well the year for that and the year for that so um very very interesting anyway i'll wrap it up there so if you guys are interested there's there's in our middle class heroes uh newsletter just jump on make sure you um have enough of an iq to figure out which country you're from because that that always helps um you know that that that's it's never a bad idea to have some iq and um yeah i'll leave it there and am i at four disappointed there really i thought in the state of this video would have got to four eight one ten no Still not a four eight ten, but as soon as I do, I'll be posting. Um, I'll be posting another tweet because that's what I do. Anyway, I'll wrap it up there. Good luck to you guys. Um, and for those on the newsletter, uh, you'll be getting the first newsletter. So good luck, and please do give us feedback. And hopefully, you guys will enjoy it, and we'll continue to do it. But please do give us feedback. It's a very very big part of it because um, these kind of things with the newsletters, especially. Um, it, there's no way to really know if it's worked as such um, without the feedback so please do give us feedback anyway I'll wrap it up there good luck to you guys and I'll catch you guys soon